the same people that would vote to cut defense 177 billion, the same ones that would put homos in the military, the same ones that would not fund BRAC, the same Mr. ones chairman. that would not clear up. Mr. No, chairman. I will not. Sit down, you socialist. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. The gentleman, you. And the gentleman from Vermont is right. Well, the gentleman what from purpose? California, is he still here or did he disappear? For what purpose does the gentleman from Vermont I rise? I rise to speak in support of the amendment. The gentleman from Vermont. I wonder if right. I the could gentleman. question the gentleman from California. The gentleman. I am rising in support of the, the gentleman, amendment. The gentleman, the chair is in charge, the chair is speaking. The gentleman from Vermont has been recognized for a period of five minutes, and you may now proceed. I thank the chairman very much. I would like the opportunity, if the gentleman from California would respond, just to ask him a brief question, if I might. Now, my ears may have playing, been playing a trick on me, but I thought I heard the gentleman a moment ago say something, quote unquote, about homos in the military. Was I right in hearing that expression? Absolutely. Putting homosexuals in the military. You said something about homos in the military. Was the gentleman referring to the many thousands and thousands of gay people who have put their lives on the line in countless wars defending this country? I'm was talking, that the group of people that the gentleman was referring to? I'm talking about the military people in the military do not support That's not the what we were bill. talking about. You used the word homos in the military. You have insulted thousands of men and women who have put their lives on the line. I'm talking about you and liberals like you that keep the foreign defense. Gentlemen. I would Gentlemen, reclaiming my time.